Hello guys, today I want to demonstrate a new filament plugin. Here's a tweet by Luis from Kirschbaum Development. They released a plugin called Commentions, which means basically two words, comments and mentions. You can see a few screenshots here in the tweet and I will demonstrate how it works. We tried it ourselves. So here's the GitHub page, already 59 stars on GitHub, also a similar screenshot and what it allows you to do. Let me demonstrate it to you in a real filament project. So for example, you have tasks resource, you can click comments and then here, not only start typing the comment and it would be saved in the database, but you can mention users with search and then that user may receive notification that they have been mentioned. Also on top of that, you can add reactions like likes or hearts to the comments. So this is one example where it can be used in a tasks table, in other CRUD, in other resource. For example, you have a project and then you have a view page and here's an info list where again, another comment mentioning another user. Also same behavior, but inside of the view page of the resource. Pretty impressive and I will show you the code in a minute. I will just mention that for our Laravel daily, for example, for courses, we use another plugin, which is not for filament. So similar behavior with comments and reactions, just without mentioning the users from what I know. And this comes from Spati. So there's a Spati Laravel comments, which is a paid package live wire component. But in this case, for Kirschbaum development, we have a free plugin specifically for Filament. And this is how you install it. Compose require, publish the migrations. So in the database, we have two tables, comments with polymorphic relations to author and commentable ID, and then also comment reactions for likes or hearts or other reactions. To enable the behavior, you need to add commenter interface to the user. Also to the models where you want to place comments, you need to add has comments. So this is from database perspective, and then you need to register the plugin in the admin panel provider as any plugin. And then in the info list, all you need to do is add comments entry and in table actions, comments table action also possible to have header action. Then there are a few things to configure, like what user model is, what comment model is. You can create a policy of who can comment, also how names would be mentioned, also avatar is possible, and here it is, events. So you can notify someone when someone is mentioned in a comment. So there are two events, user was mentioned and comment was reacted. And Laravel system of events and listeners allows you to listen for a specific event by just type hinting it here in the handle of, for example, notification, and it should send a notification to that email. And a few more configuration options, you can read them all in the readme. I will put the link in the description below. To me, pretty impressive. What do you think or what do you use for comments on your CRUDs, on your resources, any alternatives? We can discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.